Hello everybody, welcome again. Today I'm going to show you how to simulate results using the evaluation configuration. Before that, we have to know about for which area we are going to make or have results. For today's lesson, I'm going to show you data collection measurement, vehicle travel time, queue counters. So, to assign the data collection, these data collection are commonly used to retrieve throughputs, volumes, and sport speeds. These data collection points should be set up on each lane at the same location of the link. You have to assign the data collection on each link, either in the entry or on the exit. So for today, let me show you how to assign the data collection points. So right click on the lane and add data collection point. Again, right click, add data collection points. This is how we are going to add data collection points. Don't forget to align all data collection pointers aligned in the same way. Another important thing before making re results analysis is Q counter. Q counter, these are another coding element that can be used to measure Q lengths on freeway ramps and at intersections. Queues are measured from the downstream position of the queue counter until the farthest upstream vehicle that has entered queuing conditions. That means to assign the queue counter, again, go to the link and right click. Okay, before that, you have to click the queue counter, right click, add queue. Okay, so immediately I added the queue. So, a queue counter reports the average queue lengths, maximum queue lengths, and the average number of stops for the defined time intervals. By doing this, we can easily count the vehicle stops using the queue counter. Another important thing before simulating the result is travel time. Travel time can be collected using the travel time collection points or segments. These are coded with starting point and stopping points. For example, to assign the travel time, first of all, click the vehicle travel time and go to the link. Okay, the vehicles are traveling from this direction. Okay, right click, add travel time, point to this direction. Okay, don't forget here to give the name. By the way, in PTV Vision, on each section, don't forget to give names or codes. Okay, again, travel time from this area, from this link to this link. Okay, so you can add the travel time like this. So after this, we have to know about how to make evaluation. The model simulation should be set up with a seeding period and analysis period. Seeding period is necessary for initializing the model to match natural conditions by the time the analysis period begins. So, here, before starting the result, go to evaluation and configuration. In the configuration, we have different menus here, result management, result attributes, direct input immediately go to result attributes here i'm going to collect data or results for the data collection so click it here again for i'm going to collect data for vehicle travel time again for queue counters if you want to more or adjust the queue counter go to here more and you can adjust the queue definitions over here for the queue counter again for the vehicle travel time you can you can change the aggregation by time of passing the start section or destination section for me it's okay like this so in the configuration after adjusting all this go to the result management in the result management here we have 
different attributes for the previous simulation runs if it is none or none that means no results are recorded this should only be used during the debugging phase of network coding or if the user uses to simply record an animation file with reporting result another one is of current run only results from only the current run or set of multi runs are preserved by using this so we are easily managing the results Another one is of all simulation runs. All the results from any runs conducted for that model are retained. So you can change your result management by using these categories. Another one is direct output. Here in direct output, if you want to have collect the output directly, you can click over here, like for example, vehicle travel time for me, vehicle record, again the signal change because last time I showed you how to assign the signals. So by doing this, you can collect directly the output. Then after, go to evaluation again. Under evaluation, there is a result list. In the result list, click the simulation runs to see how many times you are going to run the simulation this means after assigning the queue okay the queue links the queue counter the data collection point the vehicle traveling time okay after this so click the simulation runs again go to the result list i'm going to collect data collection result okay i'm going to collect queue result I want to collect the results on vehicle travel time. So immediately here we have the data collection result, queue result, and travel time results. So here I'm going to collect the results using this. Then after that, the only process is running the simulation. So run the simulation immediately all the data are here running as you see for the key counter for the vehicle travel time again the simulation because i simulated like for 231 times uh, sorry for using the random seed 42 So this is how we are going to collect the results using the evaluation configuration. Thank you very much. See you next time.